Project Success 101, the team. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a key component in what we call the integrated production control system that will really set up the team to win and support everything that happens at the crew level on the project site. So in this video, are you curious about how to build a team? Do you want to know how to actually balance them so that they can support the project and what you need to do to be effective in your role? If that's what you want, you've come to the right place. Stay with us on this video. All right, so this is my jam. I love this. We got a book coming out soon in August, August 1st, that's called Elevating Construction First Planners. And that will explain the entire system and how it ties to TACT and Last Planner. But let me go ahead and give you these components, and this will be a little bit of a series, and explain how it works. So in construction, we typically think, and I'll just, I won't draw with my marker for a minute, but we think that we design something and then we figure out how to build it. No, 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 no. What we need to be doing on our projects, and especially on our uh, production plans, which I constantly tell you is in a time by location format, right? Um, time up here, location on the left. This right here allows us to have what's called diagonal trade flow, but this tacked wagon here has inside of it what's called work packages. And work packages are the amount of work per a trade in that tack time for that specific zone. What we should do in construction is make sure that the foreman and the workers can go ahead and install this work package in that zone in that tack time and can install it and have everything that they need. The, ma the materials, the people, the information, the equipment, the tools, the layout, the permissions, everything that they need. So this is the central theme of construction is how can a crew go do work in their work packages on a flow. Okay, they need a couple of key things, and so that's what I'm going to show you right now. So the crew will need the, the support from the team. They will also need an amazing plan. They will also need the supply chain, so that means the materials and everything to do their work. They'll need the right culture on site to have the supportive systems and the right training. So when I look at this system, I really love it because what we are doing here is getting the foreman and the crew everything that they need with this system. And like I said, I call this system, when it ties with TACT and Last Planner, the Integrated Production Control System. So I want to talk first about the uh, building the team and how to balance the team and then specifically how to show up as an individual as a product leader. So that's what I'm going to cover right now. Okay, so I'm going to go through the team components right now, but just one more time. Team is needed for the crew to have the right support, the plan so they know what they're doing, the supply chain so they have their resources, the culture so they have a good environment, and the training so they know how to show up. So now we're going to get into the team specifically. Okay, so we're going to go into the team portion of this. Every team, when they are attempting, again, and I'll just write this over here, to support the foreman in his or her work with the crew doing the work package, so I'll just do WP, they need a supportive group that can clear the way. So what we need is a team. And if you want to run a great construction project, you've got to have three things, okay? And you're going to love this, by the way. Number one, you've got to have a multiplier leader. And I'll just go ahead and type in, <laughs> type in, write, <laughs> multiplier uh, leader. This leader will do five key things. We'll build the team, have hard conversations, manage, coach, and lead and mentor direct reports, hold remarkable meetings, and scale clarity, right? So this multiplier leader will attempt to support the team with everything it needs. The team will behave with the five behaviors. So I'm just going to write the five behaviors. And um, the behaviors here are number one, trust. Number two, healthy conflict. Number three, setting goals and standards together. 
Uh, number four, holding each other accountable. And number five, perform. And that means that the team is actually working like a team with the support of the multiplier leader. And then at the top, you have a goal or a target. And so I'll just go ahead and do this as a target. These three things are always what a project needs. So number one, multiplier leader. Number two, the team using the five behaviors of a team. And number three, a strenuous performance goal. So here's how this works. The, the need to accomplish this and the support from the multiplier leader elevates everybody on that team to be high performing. Otherwise, there's no need for support, there's no need for the behaviors unless you have a strenuous performance goal. Anytime I've ever had to recover a construction project, these three things were missing. Now, once you have your team, there's a couple of things that you have to do. Um, and I'll mention two of them here. You have to balance that team. And what that means is that your team has got to have the capacity to support, and I'll just go ahead and draw that arrow, support that foreman and that crew, clearing the way with roadblocks, providing information, right? So the balance is key. So number one, on a weekly calendar, every job must have this, Monday through Friday, a calendar of where people are spending their time and if certain people on the team have to take care of their family, go do doctor's appointments, who's covering every day for closing up the gate or working late, who's covering orientations, who might be covering for Saturday. This must be intentional or you will burn out the superintendent, field engineers, and other key roles. So you must have a what I call coverage schedule, okay? And this is key. Now, the second thing you must do is you must track your PTO on an overall calendar. This might seem basic, but very few people do this. So in the different months in the year, I want you to track when different team members are taking PTO. Obviously, make sure that it's not stacked. And when you have somebody gone, we cover for that member of the team. And throughout the week, we make sure that we have good coverage on a daily basis. And so if somebody was going to do something on a Friday, but they're on PTO, we'll obviously have to have backup. So I want you to get coverage on a weekly basis, okay? And I want you to make sure everybody's taking their PTO. It's not, it's not a thing to go get a team with the right leader, behaviors, and goal, and then to overburden them to where they don't have the capacity. So the last thing that we can do to make sure that that team is functioning properly is this. We must have each individual person balanced with capacity. It's just like you're on this YouTube channel, you're learning, you're, grading, you're, you're gaining capabilities from the stuff that we're researching together. You're not learning from me per se, you're learning from the industry and I'm just presenting it, right? Um, and that's why you like and subscribe to the channel and stay with me and you know do the comments because you know that with additional capabilities comes capacity. The other thing that you can do is if you really want to clear the path for the foreman and the work package, meaning the work that they're going to do, you've got to clear roadblocks out ahead and you've got to feed them with the right, uh, like I said, tools, equipment, materials, layout, permissions, information, right? If you want to have the capacity to support the foreman, then you and everybody on the job site must have individual balance. And so what that means is that if you're a construction professional that's wanting to support the foreman, you have got to, on a daily basis, and this is pretty remarkable, so stay with me, um, you have got to, on a daily basis, be able to time block your efforts throughout the day and the meetings that you will attend to and the QC that you will do, right? Any of these things that I talked about must be planned inside your calendar. But here's the key. You will not have the capacity to do much of this and the enabling unless you have a good morning routine, okay? And follow me on this one, please. You have what's called leader standard work. We'll link you to a video in the description below for this. This means the typical things you do for yourself, your family, and in your role, and unless you have what's called a to-do list. So I'll just write TDL. These are the things that come up. And what you'll do every day after your morning routine 
you will go ahead and plan your day with leader standard work and you will plan your day with your to-do list and you'll make sure that you have buffers in between and that you're focusing when you're doing tasks. This will save you one to four hours a day by making sure it's properly planned. Now, what do we do with that time? If you're not going home and using the time to do something else, you have this time to better support our people in the field and to have the capacity to get the foreman and the crews what they need. So uh, we typically don't do summaries on these videos because it's a bad practice, but I do wanna say build your team with those three things, balance your team, and make sure that you have good coverage in PTO and that people are resting. And three, make sure that you as an individual have a good personal organization system with a to-do list and leader standard work that will give you time in the day to actually support the foreman in the field. At a minimum, this is a mindset that we need you to learn and it's quite fantastic. So we're gonna link you in the description below to a video about those three key habits about team coverage and about how to manage your personal organization system. But just know as a part of the system, it is always designed to support the foreman with the crew to install the work package where they are in the field. And so I love this topic so much. We're gonna format a beautiful Canva graphic for you. I hope you're able to implement this and that you've enjoyed this video. On we go.